Hello from Slovenia <clears throat> again. This is uh, a piece that I did just now and uh, it came out pretty close that to something that I I'm looking for so that's why I decided that I will show you what and how I mix my paints so let's start with our base this is titanium white and I mix it um, one part paint to uh, maybe third I don't measure so a third of the amount of the paint of this matte medium from Vallejo mix it and add the same amount that I added, add, uh, added um, my medium matte medium I added float roll mix again and water to consistency and this is the consistency it's pretty thick you see it leaves quite a mount on the mount so this is my base coat and for the colors here I have navy and I mixed I add um, paint add it a little maybe I can mix one in front of you so that you will see what I'm talking about uh, no I will do just mixing with the next one so I added paint and then the amount of paint that I have I just cover the surface with this uh, gloss Vallejo gloss medium mix it and again uh, cover the surface with transparent gloss glaze medium mix it again <laughs> add this uh, pouring medium Vallejo the same amount just to cover uh, to cover the surface of the paint uh, of the mixture that I have and mix it and I mix this one to one with float roll add some water in it and this is my blue one and in the whoops this one thickened up, up in the red Bordeaux red I did the same but I added uh, just a second just to mix it I will show you uh, my polyurethane satin varnish to it to, to this uh, red just to this one I didn't try to add my satin varnish to all of them maybe I should I will try this next time but for this this time I will just leave it that way and this is um, the same as the blue one and for my white for the top I add uh, I mixed one part paint to three parts float roll and add it just a little bit oh I forget to show you this is the the satin varnish and I added just a few drops of flow aid to it and this is it I hope that I tell you the way that you will understand but I will I can uh, I will do video as I said so 
I will just add this white base coat on the whole surface because I think that otherwise I don't it uh, I just don't spread this paint uh, don't tilt I can't tilt sorry this um, properly if I don't have the whole canvas covered in this paint so that's why I add, add paint to the whole canvas and I will add a little more here in the middle where I will add my paint to do a bloom kind of I still didn't get bloom I will try to spin spin it next time and maybe I will be able to get more of the shape that I want but for now I will just tilt it so let's start I will add some blue first This bottle red next to it. I just mix these uh, three paints so I will use just the same paints as I did because I uh, I just <laughs> uh, grab these paints and mix them so it's silver I will add a tiny little bit of white here in between and some blue again and some this Bordeaux red so this one have this satin varnish and I hope that I hoped when I mix this in that I will get uh, that this uh, satin varnish will cause some lacing effect <coughs> and I will end up with blue and of course white on the top and now I will blow
I didn't do this one. Okay, I think. I don't know if you see any of my blowing uh, part, but I again have my uh, camera like uh, that, so that I can't Uh, blow the way that you will see entire process so I will uh, change my camera angle but I didn't do it today <laughs> so At my first painting I had just one puddle uh, of red and the blue and silver and this time I did two and I get different effect and less lacing so Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. because these paints are pretty thick and that's why tilting part takes a bit longer Just thinking to leave this uh, corner white. I don't know. Strange because I get totally different result because of the different way of doing my puddle so maybe I will just do one puddle on top of this because I didn't get much of the effect that I 
and do just the way that I did the last one and see what will happen. It's only experimenting. See, it's already different. Now, uh, bef even before I stretch it, so. Just try to stretch it like this slowly to the corners and back to the middle and to the other corner and this corner again and back to the middle again and now I will go over the corners or the sides I don't know what is the right word and to this corner now
and back. So this is much better, I think. I will just do my sides because this is a gallery wrapped canvas and the sides are uh, three centimeters and I didn't cover them completely so I have to do it now I still have some work with my composition I hope that um, when I will try to spin it I will get more uh, of the flower kind of look and maybe I should uh, add this set into some other paint too to get maybe more lacing but I like this for now. Sides are gorgeous too, so... just not happy with my composition but I will try to master this too so it not just I'm not quite there yet but I'm getting closer I think it because I don't like this white dots I was trying to say
So I will show you my close up now. I think that some details are beautiful. I like this part here. And this part here, you see? Not quite there yet, but... I think that I'm getting a little bit closer again. So my next one will be with the same colors. But I will add satin varnish to my blue too, uh, blue paint, and we will see what will happen if we do that. So, this is it for today. I hope that you learn something too and. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!